Previously on King Roddenberry's Earth Final Conflict. You are here as the president's alien expert, period. Grab yourself a flak jacket. You'll join me on point. But if you think for one minute that you can assume tactical command of this operation... Your prize weapon's toast. You're back to square one. You're alive only because you can be of service to me. As leader of the Talons, you were the one giving orders. As an atavist, you will follow mine. Now! Life signs are still strong. I have no doubt we could revive her. But could you trust her? Terminate her. Any idea where they might have tucked away those plans for our proton scatter weapon? Our weapon? Last I heard, it was still property of Allied Command. Tell me you're having second thoughts now, Lieutenant. After breaking and entering into a classified area? No. Look, you don't have to sell me on it again, Renee. I'm here, aren't I? Yeah, well, you wouldn't have to be if your CO had squashed Operation Takedown. You're wrong about General Kirkland. Abandoning a second go at the mothership was not his idea. No way, no how. Someone in the Army command structure is playing it safe. We gotta secure that proton weapon. It's the only thing that can bring down the mothership shields. The files aren't on the mainframe. We must have sealed them. Set up the portal. I'll find out we're here. It was your idea to bring the FBI into this, not mine. There must have been a leak on their end. Come on! Go! I'll be right behind you! Bingo. Stand down. Nice coverage, boys. It's about time you got it, right? You are under arrest, Lieutenant. Century, an alien species known as the Talons came to Earth with the promise of peace. They lied. Their true agenda was to dominate us. After years of struggle, the Talons have perished, leaving more aggressive beings in their wake, the Atavus. Stop this new species from dominating our planet.
planet. This is Earth's final conflict. Jack, get you a good lawyer. I hear you've been uh, through a few interrogations. Yes, I have, Palmer. So don't worry. I won't pass the buck. I'm not worried about that, Lieutenant. I'm worried about you. I'm going straight to the President and explain that... Explain what? That I tried to steal a classified weapon? Do you think that'll get me a presidential pardon? It should, considering the threat that we're dealing with here. Any threat to this country, be it alien or otherwise, is the sole responsibility of the armed forces, of which I am a member, whose command structure I am bound by duty to honor. Well, in this case, your command structure dropped the ball. And someone on your side set us up, and it sure as hell wasn't the army. We don't know that. Hybrids have infiltrated everywhere. I'm the only traitor here. I ran roughshod over my CO, even my own men. The look on their faces when they had to arrest me. It'll work out. It'll work out. You don't get it, do you? I'm a special forces commander. The army is my family. It's my home. It's all I ever had, and it's all I ever wanted to be. And now it's gone. Lieutenant, I will straighten this out. And good luck to you. Because Kirkland's on the warpath, and he's bound and determined to make an example out of me. And I can't say as I blame him. Look, our private little war is over. So thanks for stopping by. Let's get the hell out of here. Guard. I don't care if the army owns his hide. We drafted Michaels into this mission. We can't just abandon him now. That's why I want to ask for a presidential pardon. Renee, I, I sympathize. I really do. But the lieutenant knew the risks. Talk to his CO or the Joint Chiefs if you have to. And admit that the government conspired to rip off plans to a classified military weapon? Are you crazy? <laughs> Political fallout would be <laughs> catastrophic. Listen to you. Worried about your own hide now. I'm worried about the aliens, okay? I'm worried about the mothership's weapons going online. It's time you sit down with the president, get him to remove whoever it is over at the Pentagon who's blocking another assault on the mothership. The president steadfastly refuses to approve any operation that might jeopardize the stasis orbit of the mothership. Blah, blah, blah. Look, we tried to get a shot at the mothership. We failed. It's over. I want to see him. Not a chance. He could still blow your cover. He wouldn't do that. And how do you know that? Because he lives by a code. A code of honor. Which he just violated working for us. I gotta see him, Hubble. It's the least you can do for me. I want to explore every corner of Sandoval's mind. This is our third run through the mine probe archive on Mr. Sandoval Howland. Perhaps you could be more specific as to what you're looking for. A way to human annihilation. A way to activate this vessel's weapon system. What 
Don't you understand? I understand perfectly your intent. But as Mr. Sandoval stated during his interrogation, the Talon mothership will only service the directives of a Talon. Which brings us right back to the only one available. Rajel, who is utterly useless. Why does this Talon choose to cuddle humanity and allow this malignancy to continue? Perhaps because it is part of the Talon core mission statement. Of course, that wasn't the case when Zaor was in command of the mothership. Zaor. It is safe to say you two shared a common vision, Howland. Zaor, of course. Where is she? She's dead, Howland. You ordered Sandoval to kill her. True. But it won't confirmation. Access it from the mind probe. Now! Another time, another place. So Zor. Zor's alive. I knew it. Every king needs his queen. about that, you traitorous snake. And I believe we have a location. I once wore this with pride. And I once pinned a brown star on it. Right after we got out of that meat grinder they called the SI war. Yes, sir. Didn't we look fine marching down Pennsylvania Avenue at our victory parade? Indeed, we did. Now you're going to be wearing it to your court martial. And if you continue to refuse to work with us. You're going to be wearing prison fatigues for the rest of your natural life. Do you understand that, Lieutenant? Yes, sir. You disappoint me. Of all the men in my command, I never... All right, I want you to lay it out for me. Start to finish. What agency recruited you? Who are you working with? Are they still pursuing this harebrained mission to take out the Atavis mothership? Maybe kill millions of people here on the ground. I'm sorry, sir, but I cannot answer any of your questions. You have no rights here. You are up to your ass in self-incrimination. Look at you. You're a disgrace to the flag, the country, and the rangers. But not to humanity, sir. A CO of mine told me that once. That that uniform signifies a commitment. A commitment to freedom, human freedom, at all costs. Well, it's going to cost you your freedom. You can bet on that. Transport her through ID space without incident. Revive her. Traitor. I expected such behavior from human swine like Sandoval. But you. My prince, to order my assassination. I had no hand in your confinement, Zor. Of course not. You wanted me dead. 
No. Judah did. She was insanely jealous of our... mutual attraction. Was? She's dead. Sandoval killed her. Really? How? It's not important. You're alive. That's all that matters. You are too kind. And where is that duplicitous homo sapien? Sandoval. Banished. Exiled to Earth until he can prove his... worth. So, here we are, Howlin. Again. Tell me your intentions. It's time to ally ourselves to take control of Earth. We? You are suggesting a partnership? Of sorts. <laughs> your reluctance is highly revealing. You did want me dead. But Sandoval hid the truth from you. Until now. Until the hour of your need. I am your deliverer. You would be wise to show gratitude rather than suspicion, Zor. <laughs> I will show you nothing until you reveal your true motives. I have told you what you need to know. I think not. And until you do, I have no interest in continuing this discussion. yours. A deposed commander desperately trying to reclaim her glory. Not as pathetic as a leader who is so paralyzed by fear that he can't make the hard decisions required to gain his empire. You were correct earlier. Sandoval was under orders to terminate you. Orders which he disobeyed. You will never manipulate me with your fabrications. I'd venture to guess you also lied about the death of your pitiful concubine. How dare you desecrate the name of my beloved Judah? She was killed by the human vermin, fighting to defend Adivus' honor. My, how sad. You revived me because you need me for something. Now what is it? This plague of humanity has proven more difficult to eradicate than anticipated. I must utilize the mothership weapons to annihilate the populace. And the mothership won't grant weapons access to an uncivilized heathen species like the Atlas. A species to which you now belong, in case you have forgotten. Then what makes you think I can succeed where you failed? 
You still possess your core energy. The soul. Signature of a tail on. The mothership may respond to you as one. That is remarkably sophisticated reasoning, Halvin. Especially for you. I will consider your proposition. Along with my list of demands. There's only one viable mission strategy here. Get an assault team on the mothership and destroy the weapons from on board. Assuming I can get you past the mothership shields, can you put together an assault team? There's only one team I know who can pull this off. That's mine. <laughs> I'm a fugitive now. I'm being charged with treason by Kirkland himself, one of the most decorated soldiers this country has ever seen. At this point, I can't even lead a team into the mess hall. This is your team we're talking about here. You think they give a damn what anybody says about you? If Kirkland's the one doing the talking, yes, I do. Then you underestimate your own men. They'll understand why you did what you did. Oh, hello. Check it out. Your little band of merry men have managed to impress even me. Merry men? Uh, there's a group of Doors International scientists that have remained loyal to me. I've had them working on a backup plan. To take down those shields. <sighs> Can I help you with something? <laughs> Well, probably, but wouldn't be appropriate. Story of my life. I'm sorry to hear that. Me too. Anyway, Renee's told me some really good things about you. Don't believe everything you hear. Look, the way Renee tells it, you respect authority, but you're not afraid to act on your own when you think you have to. In fact, uh, her exact words were ultimate hero. She said that about me. In case you hadn't noticed, her feelings for you go a little beyond professional admiration. <clears throat> what? And you will allow me to rule alongside of you? Under the circumstances, I believe my offer is actually quite generous. I could just as easily have demanded that you serve as my second in command. And I could have demanded that you be killed where you stand. Who are you to dictate any terms to me? You are one and only hope to subdue the human threat. The Atavis are mine. They would never accept you as their commander. I have always been a leader. I can build my own coalition. There is one final issue. In no way does our power-sharing arrangement imply that you and I will become lovers. I will remain free to choose my own mate. And it most definitely will not be you. You keep this issue in mind, Zavar. If you fail to access the mothership weapon system, you will be of no use to me. The best that you can hope for then is a painless death. I will. It's a directed pulse generator. Now, if these specs are accurate, it'll disable the mothership shields long enough for us to get through. 
All right. Let's blow to communique, revealing that the good lieutenant here is hiding out at a warehouse on Front Street. Make sure Army Intelligence intercepts it. If Kirkland thinks they found you, who's he going to send to bring you in? Obviously, men who know how I operate. That would be my team. Exactly. Look, Renee, I know what you're trying to do here, and it's not the point. The point is this. I'm willing to risk my life on your belief that your men have the sense of honor and duty that you drilled into them. The only question here is you. Are you willing to find out whether or not your men are afraid to follow their hearts as well as their heads? My men are afraid of nothing. When I chose to team up with you and betray the chain of command, I fully understood the implications of that decision and that I was the only one at risk. The only one? It was different when it was just you and me carrying out the mission, but now you're asking me to induce soldiers into committing treason, men who have put their complete trust into me. Look, we're fighting for our lives. It's us or them. It's really that simple. You command the devotion of your men for one reason, an unequivocal belief in yourself. And that conviction is never more important as it is right now. Up to this point, that conviction has been rooted in the one constant in my life. My complete and utter loyalty to the United States Army. And I've gone and blown the hell out of that. The Army didn't turn on you. The Atavists have infiltrated every part of our government. They're the ones that turned you in. And as soon as we complete our mission, I'll see you exonerated. I promise you. Renee, I... I am a genius. They took the bait. Kirkland's sending your unit to the warehouse on Front Street. They've been ordered to treat you with extreme prejudice. In other words, dead or alive. Contact the mothership computer. Apparently, you are having trouble understanding our agreement. We are equals. You don't give me orders. Until you prove to me that you can assume control of this ship, our agreement means nothing. Now get to work. Greetings, Zoor. I welcome your return. Transfer all ship command functions to me. I detect an alteration in your energy anatomy. Please explain. As you are well aware, all Talons are suffering from a depletion of their core energy. This is the cause of the anomaly you have identified. Negative. I have detected the presence of adamant DNA in your system. Core energy depletion would not account for this. Kindly elaborate. My death was imminent. My only recourse was to reluctantly submit to a transfusion of Atavis life force to replenish the core energy I had lost. The ramifications of such a transfusion are unclear. Before I yield control of the ship, I must ascertain whether the purity of your Talon consciousness has been defiled. I can assure you, my Talon integrity has not been compromised. Not sufficient. I require a full body scan. Report to the medical bay. At once. You fool! A full body scan will prove that you are now an Atavis! I've already admitted the presence of Atavis DNA in my system. The mothership's only concern is that I still possess the intellect of a Talon. And believe me, I do. For a gut check, then. I'm Sergeant Edward Manning, United States Army Rangers in pursuit of a military fugitive. Now, put your hands on your head and lay on the ground. That really won't be necessary, Sergeant. I don't have time to play games, ma'am. We are authorized shoot to kill. I don't think so, Ed.
You broke into a North Allied command silo. With a good reason. What, now you're telling me you're innocent? It's not about innocence or guilt anymore. All of a sudden, you're, you're bigger than the United States Army? I had no choice. I had to act on my own. Why? Because the aliens have infiltrated the highest levels of the armed forces, Ed. That's why. Kirkland said you'd try and mess with our heads. Look, I can prove it. The Adamus leader gets command of the mothership weapons. We can kiss the Earth goodbye. Palmer and I were good to go on a covert operation to destroy the aliens' artillery until Kirkland pulled the plug. Kirkland's never backed down from anything in his life. That's exactly my point. Someone else is pulling the strings here. Someone who's controlled by the aliens who wants to sabotage our mission. We swore duty to defend this country. And now it's time to step up to it. I can't take out those weapons without you. I wish there were another way, but this is the hand that we've been dealt. It's decision time. to deploy, sir. Despite the alteration in your energy anatomy, your consciousness remains essentially Talon. I had no doubt my superior Talon intellect would resist the Atavis pollution. Power up the weapon systems. What is the reason for this request? To mount an attack on Earth. The Talon Core mission statement is to embrace humanity and nurture its development. What possible motivation could there be for an attack against this planet? Only to quell forces that threaten harm to the human population. Request granted. Initiating activation of weapon systems. How long will it take to activate the weapons? Looks like the most direct route from the shuttle bay to the weapons bay. It's also the most heavily patrolled by hybrids. I think we've got a better chance if we go through this way. Any luck yet? You're not going to believe what I've been through. There was a call. The signal was scrambled through a quantum matrix. Then it did a digital bounce off of three secure globals. And <laughs> that was just the beginning. After that, if we can't find out who in the military has been compromised, Michaels is going right back to prison or even worse. What's the bottom line? Chill, Renee. Or I'm not going to share the jackpot. What are you talking about? Oh, I don't know. Maybe a direct communication between a high-ranking officer and the mothership. Who? Uh, I don't know. I haven't got there yet, but I will prevail. Trust me. All right, look. Once you identify the traitor, get the word to Hubble Yurik. He'll know what to do. All right, it's time. I'm going to activate the pulse generator and bring down those shields. Let's do it. Worked. Shields are down. We're going in. The shields have been compromised. We're under attack. They must be stopped before they board the ship. be a pleasure, Miss Palmer. It is long overdue. Likewise, Zor. Go ahead, take out the weapons. I'll head back out and engage her in the shuttle. I think we'll have a better chance if we all stick together. No, we have a much better chance if you don't have to get through the war. If I don't make it back, you'll be sitting ducks up here. I think your pep talk needs a little work, Renee. They'll turn you into hybrids, Lieutenant. Not gonna happen. We know what we signed up for. We're prepared to die. 
Oh, but we'd rather not, so you make sure you get that pretty little buddy of yours back, all right? Will do, sir. All right, gentlemen, let's get down to business. Go. when I take you down with me. Only in your dreams, Miss Palmer. Michelle and I seem to be doing just fine. Not for long. was opposed to me. And just like all the rest of them, you will fall. I don't know. Maybe it's time to change the ending of that story, huh? Let's rig him. located right below the bridge, right? Affirmative! Detonation at 22, 21, 20... Meet me in the shuttle bay. With Talon brains and Atavis brawn, I am smarter than you. And stronger than you. Not faster. Goodbye, Thor.
any other questions? All right, let's get on with it. Stand down, Sergeant. You're in deep trouble, son. And you're sinking fast. Not this time, General. You're under arrest for crimes against humanity. Don't delude yourself. We have hybrids planted in every branch of the armed services. Well, then this place is as good as any to start the extermination process. They'll never find us all. I wouldn't count on that. Job well done. <clears throat> well, now uh, you've got to show me the new hardware. Oh, of course. After all, I did get you exonerated, like I promised. And, uh, yeah, you definitely owe me, Captain. I think I owe you for a lot more than that, Renee. And I would like to take this opportunity, <clears throat> this, this moment, to um, express with great gratitude my appreciation. Um, <clears throat> this isn't going very well, is it? <laughs> well, um, stop trying so hard and be a man of action. You can handle it. I think I can handle it.